Hey, uh, with, with these legs you picked up uh, basketball in high school, can you talk about just how quick you've grown up and how much, how quickly you, you pick things up? No, yeah, I just was going to court, be a hard worker. You know, I'm very, you know, coachable. Just go out there and just work hard at everything I do. And, you know what I'm saying? I have teammates to back me up. I have coaches to back me up. But has it surprised you how quick things have come to you and your no, growth? No, not really, because I know I was, you know, good ball player. I just got to stay focused and stay humble and just let it show. And that's what I'm doing now. What do you think was the difference for you Saturday? Uh, I mean, I, I was ready. You know, it, I was going up against a real good player, Sean Pruitt. Um, he, he, he did great that game. I mean, I was going up against him. He's bigger than me. So I just stay mentally and physically focused. Just go out there and handle my business. Was it a struggle kind of trying to keep your hands off of people in the last few games? Yeah, it has. Uh, but then, you know what I'm saying, when, we went, when I went against Illinois, I know I had to you know, stay focused on that and just keep my hands up. And uh, I just try, I stayed out of foul over the first half, so that was, a, that was a big relief for me. But, you know, I, I mean, I can just, just stay focused on, in the game, and I'll stay out of foul trouble. How humbling is it to be named the Pac-10 player of the week? Um, I mean, it's, it's a good feeling, I mean, just knowing that people out there watching me play. I mean, but I just can't get let it get to my head. It's just an award to me. Just got to still go out there and perform. I, you know, just go out there and handle my business and do what I have to do. When you have a game like that, do people react differently to you around campus and town? I mean, are you getting a lot of a lot of people talking about it? Mm, no, not really. Same old Jordan. Yeah. Still going out there. Getting the same love from same people, so I mean, it, it just really isn't a big deal to me, you know. Nick's still your roommate, right? Yes. You guys eating something crazy or something? Like, you guys are both getting hot at the same time, like, what's going on with that? Uh, I mean, I, I, Nick, I mean, Nick is a good player, I mean, he just needs a chance to go out there and perform like he should. Um, that's how he really plays, he, he plays better, I know he can, but I mean, we just, you know, we was ready to come out there and play. It was a big game for us and a big test for all of us. And we just know we had to go out there and do what we had to do. Do you feel the team needs you to have this? Maybe not 23 and 14 necessarily, but performances like that? Um, yeah, I, I, feel they, I feel they need me like that. And I also need them, you know, they, was, they look for me when I'm wide open, you know, giving me good passes. And, I mean, I just went out there and my, my teammates' shots wasn't falling like they should have. So I just made it my time to step up and be the other player to make them rely on. At this time of the season, a lot of you younger guys, freshmen, sophomores, stepping up. Talk a little bit about that, just the, the transition, um, you know, with being young, looking up to the older players, things like that. Yeah, um, yeah everybody's stepping up. Freshman, Jared Davis, um, first half he wasn't, wasn't what we thought he was going to be doing in the first half of the Illinois game, but second half, we got in his head, and the halftime we just talked, and everybody got to talk and got to put their views in, and we decided to just come out there and step it up, and we know how to step it up. Um, we had quick, a lot of quick turnovers in the first half, so we all decided just come, we got to settle down. And Jared came out there, he had a wonderful game. Nick came out there, we needed him defensively, and he, that's what he did. And we got, came out with a huge win. So how do you guys come out hotter at the beginning of the, the game? Um, we just got to, that's what we need to do at the beginning of the game. First half, we got to, you know, stay mentally and physically focused. Cause, uh, we haven't been coming out in the first half of the games as good as we should be. Uh, we always come out and explode in the second half. But um, we really got to come out in the first half and just do what we have to do and, and jump on it from the start. What was your reaction, Doug, about leaving? I mean, you know, I mean, everybody was shocked. Um, I didn't know nothing about it until I seen his locker came down, and I was like, what was going on? Um, but I seen him yesterday. We had a little talk. Um, I mean, we all said he was leaving. He was a good guard. But I mean, he said he wasn't happy. So we just got to respect him. I told, you know, gave him my number, told him to call me whenever he needed me. We're still here for him. What was he happy with? I have no idea. I could, it, probably the long distance from his family. I mean, that's how I was when I first came in my freshman year, you know. I was from Atlanta, from Atlanta I'm all the way in Arizona. He's from Michigan, he's all the way in Arizona. It was, it was kind of hard, it was hard for me too.
the chemistry a little different in practice with somebody gone? I mean, do you see people not trying to take his press necessarily, but acknowledging that maybe he didn't get more minutes? Um, it, I mean, it's, it's the same. The chemistry is the same at the beginning of the season. Um, mm-hmm. It's just that when he was here, people got a lot of a little rest. <laughs> you know, but no more rest now. But I mean, we all gonna miss him. I mean, he's a good, he's a good player, a good friend, and you know what I'm saying I hope, we all hope for the best one. With Kale being now here for the whole year, are you guys able to kind of close that door? Uh, you know, surrounding all the loot controversy and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, Kevin is a real good coach, real good man on and off the court. Uh, he's just res- respecting loot's you know, privacy right now. I mean. He just want to sit out for the rest of the year, so we just decided to you know, keep him in our prayers. Just let him know we always here for him, and Kevin O'Neal is doing a, a real good job while he's the head coach now. Did you get you on anything for his birthday? Nah, kind of, kind of short on cash right now, so <laughs> kind of short on cash, so he you know we love him, though.